This is a video to help people with perhaps smaller hands, or even like me, quite large hands, and you haven't quite developed the ability yet, how to reach 10th interval, or even 11th interval. Now, the thing to know about tenths and developing the ability to play with them easily is that it's not so much about hand size, but about hand strength and developing the muscles in the wrist, um, which allow you to get the spread. I mean, the example which I can give is if you look, my left hand actually has a wider spread than my right hand. And that's because the muscles in my wrist have developed in such a way that allows me to play these intervals. So it's simply a matter of starting off with what you can do. You might not believe it. I can reach an a, a, a 11th now. When I started, I can only reach a 9th. So you can develop quite a lot. A lot of people can only reach octaves. So I'm sure that someone who reaches an octave can um, work their way up to a 10th if they haven't done any you know, outside octave work with their left hand. So yeah, you start off with what you can do. So you find what you can do. Some of you might, own, might only be able to reach knives. Now that is quite an interesting development, musically. It adds a sort of flourish. It's a bit muddy. Necessarily sound that good, but if you start doing that, you can start developing those muscles. Now, a lot of you with larger hands might be able to easily reach that interval. Now, that's a lot of fun to play with, and if you can't, play around with that for a while, and hopefully, you should be able to reach up to there because there you can play the minor pentatonic scale. there, which adds the tritone, which creates some discord, like there again. Now there's a problem, usually when you play um, the five notes, the five chord in minor keys, you sharpen the note so it becomes major. You can't do that in this, so you're just going to have to play an octave. But for those two chords, you've got that which you can play with. And hopefully, once you've developed that just to a certain degree, you can reach this like this. Now, when you're getting to that point, this only works in white key centers. It helps to reach down to the bottom, to the very tip of the key, which is what I'm doing with the 11th interval. See there? If I was playing it from about there, I wouldn't quite be able to reach. Hopefully, if you work to your, lo your largest breadth and you start playing around with that, you're eventually going to develop the muscles in order to play a full ten, which is very useful in many styles of New Orleans slow blues. As you're developing these muscles, it will hurt, 
and you will end up aching. I remember the strange sort of aching sensations I got there, but don't push yourself too hard. If the yell ache is building up, give yourself a break. Start playing some octaves or stop playing altogether if you really have to, don't injure yourself. But the ache will go away. I, 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 I never feel an ache from playing long intervals any longer. Just stick with it and you will get there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good night.